What's going on guys? This is Vince with vshred.com. And if you think you can't build a back with limited equipment, think again. In today's video, I'm gonna give you a complete back workout for strength, power, and muscle gains that you can do only using dumbbells. I'ma keep on going up till the lights go down. So today's workout is gonna be perfect for anyone who's stuck working out at home with limited equipment or in a lacking gym. But these variations are also gonna be great for throwing into your routine from time to time as a way to mix up the same movements that you typically do because our bodies like these changes from time to time and it's extremely beneficial to continue shocking our muscles to activate more growth. Now, before we get into this workout, there's obviously nothing worse than a mediocre workout or a bad one. And one of the most common questions that I get asked is what pre-workout I take before a workout like this. For those days that I need a little extra energy or some more focus. And if you're like me and you love taking a big old heaping scoop of go-go powder 15 minutes before a lift, I highly recommend trying out pre-workout by Sculpt Nation. It's got the perfect combination of energy enhancers for when you need that extra boost, focus elevators for when you've had a long day or maybe the morning when you haven't woken up yet, and blood vessel dilators to help you get a better pump and decrease lactic acid buildup so that you don't get as sore. It's good stuff, take my word for it. If you wanna check it out, click the link in the description below this video and you can get it at a discount right now, right now only. So when you're working a major muscle group such as the back, we tend to think some fancy equipment is needed in order to see muscle growth or to get stronger. And on back days, dumbbells are one of the most common pieces of equipment that people use for accessory lifts. But it's very possible to get in a killer full back workout that focuses on building strength and building power and muscle growth with only dumbbells. Now, I've got seven different dumbbell exercises that are gonna cover all the different muscle groups in your back. And if you do it properly, you'll be feeling this tomorrow, I guarantee it, in a good way. So first up, we have the weighted pull-up. To do this, you'll simply be gripping a dumbbell between your feet, or you can even hang it around your waist if you have some kind of lifting belt that holds plates. So limited equipment or not, these are a killer exercise and you would benefit from incorporating them into your regular training program, either every single week or every other week on your strength training days. Now, next up, we have Pinley Rose. The magic of this row is in the movement pattern itself, is that it focuses on one explosive pull all the way from the floor with no tension as you lower the weight back down to the ground. All of your energy is used in that first part of the pulling movement. Don't try to lower the dumbbell slowly. Just let it go back to the floor because the angle of your torso is also gonna be different for this. You're gonna have a horizontal back. The faster you move the dumbbells on the way up, the more power you'll develop in your upper body. And again, the dumbbell variation is the same movement as a barbell. In fact, it may feel a little more difficult because using dumbbells will require you to travel further to the floor during each rep because you don't have those big 45 plates on each side. Now, probably the most underrated lat exercises of all time is the dumbbell pullover. And for these, you'll lie down on a bench with your head just barely hanging off the edge and hold a dumbbell over your chest with your hands interlocked and a little diamond shape at the dumbbell. And to ensure that you're working your lats and not your chest, instead of keeping your arms straight, you wanna just slightly flare your elbows and make sure you still keep the weight close to your body. This will cause your elbows to flare out even more as you pull through the movement. And so you're gonna wanna squeeze through your lats as you pull the dumbbell just short of chest engagement, so not all the way above you, and make sure you use correct form on these or they can easily turn into a chest exercise and not hit the targeted muscle, the lats. So go all the way back, feel the stretch in your lats, and then bring it back up, and I like to go probably just above my forehead. Now, next up, we're gonna be doing two different variations of dumbbell rows, because obviously dumbbell rows are great exercises for the back. And the first one is your standard dumbbell one arm row, and you want to pull the weight back towards your hips rather than pulling your elbow up towards your torso. This is how you're going to activate that lat as best as possible. When you are pulling your elbow up towards your torso, you end up getting a lot of bicep activation. This is one of the 
biggest problems with the rows is because people end up feeling it in their arms rather than their back. And this is just because they're not taking their elbows back towards their hips. And then also like having your chest out and having your shoulders rolled back is going to put your lats in the best position to be activated the most rather than having your shoulder rolled forward, which will then again, start activating your bicep more than you want it. So make sure you're keeping your chest out. You want your back pretty flat and you wanna pull your elbow back towards your hips rather than pulling it up straight towards your chest to get the best activation of your lats as possible. All right, so the next rowing exercise that we're gonna be doing is a one arm row again, but this time with a pronated grip with the elbow out. So pronated basically just means your palms are gonna be facing down and these small changes will help to target other areas of the back. The pronated grip when the elbows out will emphasize more rhomboids and mid trap activation along with a little rear delt rather than the hammer grip version with your elbows tucked in. Now to do this row, same setup as the standard row, except you'll do it with a pronated grip and your elbows out instead of back. And you're gonna pull up and your elbow is going to be in line with your shoulder. And then you're gonna lower it down and you wanna feel again that full stretch of your lat. And then rather than bringing it back, you're going to bring it out and really focus on getting a nice pull on that upper outer portion of your back. Obviously the biceps are gonna be activated, but you want to minimize the activation as much as possible and really focus on pulling through your elbows and pulling it back as far as you can so you can feel that squeeze in your lats, bringing it all the way back down, feeling the stretch and repeating that for as many reps as you're going for. Now the next exercise that we're gonna do, and this may be one that you never really thought about doing with dumbbells, but it's good mornings. So here you're gonna be holding one dumbbell and it's gonna be hugged into your chest. And you can also try this with the dumbbell behind your neck, give them both a try and see which one you prefer better. Some people like different things. And then you're going to bend over and hinge at your hips, pushing your butt back as far as you can without rounding your back until your upper body is nearly parallel to the floor and then back up to starting position, focusing on using your lower back to pull. So really focus on squeezing and making everything tight on the back of your body, especially in your back since it's a back workout, but going down, hinging at the hips and then bringing it back up and squeezing at the top right back into the next rep. Now, last but not least, we don't want to overlook the traps. I know it's a back workout, but traps are on the back of the body. And so I always like ending a solid back workout with some dumbbell shrugs. Now to do these, you're going to want to squat down and use your legs, not your back, to pick up the dumbbells from the floor because usually you're using heavier dumbbells for shrugs. Keep your feet close together, dumbbell at the side, arch your back just slightly, hold your shoulder blades together and keep them pinched together the entire time. Keep your wrists and arms straight and then elevate your shoulders up. Squeeze at the top as much as you can and lower back down. Don't hunch your back over. This is what a lot of people end up doing and they end up tweaking their neck somehow because they're going too heavy, maybe heavier than they should. Really focus on form. Time under tension is one of the things that has helped my shoulders more than anything. Pressing my shoulders all the way down, bringing them all the way up, feeling that squeeze and going in one continuous motion. That's when I really started feeling it in the trap muscle, which is a hard muscle to create that mind muscle connection. Now, like I mentioned in the beginning, if you're looking for something to help take your workout to that next level and give you that missing energy or give you that missing focus and that missing power, check out Pre-Workout by Sculpt Nation. It's an amazing pre-workout. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen me taking a scoop of powder to my mouth before every workout and that's exactly what I'm taking. I like the fruit punch, I like the blue raspberry, I even like the peach. They're all good flavors. You just gotta try it and there's a lifetime money back guarantee. If you don't like it, you can send it back no questions asked. So check that out guys. But other than that, if you have any recommendations for the future videos that you wanna see, make sure you're commenting on them down below. But other than that, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.